And this time you've asked them uh, to bring in their most beautiful item. Uh, Roisin, what beautiful item have you brought us? I've brought a cardigan that is the most beautiful thing I've ever owned, and I get more compliments <laughs> for it than anything. <laughs> Isn't it incredible, right? I've been stopped in the street more for wearing this cardigan than for anything I've ever done on television. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should take that less as a compliment than your cardigan. And more Shut about... up! <laughs> <laughs> is that a nice cardigan? Yes, those 12 women agree with you. <laughs> Who thinks it's an awful cardigan? <laughs> it's a brilliant cardigan if you need to hide in a church. <laughs> Ramesh, what beautiful item have you brought us? When um, my wife gave birth to our first son, um, oh. my mother-in-law bought us uh, a, a little statuette to symbolise the love between mother and child, oh. and, uh, and that is what I've brought. It's, it's a beautiful little piece and also symbolic of maternal love, and, and that's why I've brought it this evening. You are not this person at all. <laughs> Listen, I'm just showing another side of myself, all right? I don't, I don't want to be persecuted for that. Well, I, I don't want to ruin the birth of any of your children, but it's a horrible piece of tat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Tim, what have you brought in? I can tell you now, you're not going to be last. <laughs> Are you shitting me right now, Tim? <laughs> I've bought a, um, a flight to Cologne to Ooh. visit the cathedral. <laughs> Oh, my God, that is genuine. Why is it Why has he got name? my name on it? <laughs> I'd like to win it. What happens if Roisin does win? Oh, she'll go to Cologne. <laughs> so then she'll have to disguise herself as Ramesh. Easy, mate. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just rant everywhere. Yeah. On the plane. That's not the biggest difference, by the way. Make this ice block disappear as fast as possible. You have one hour. Your time starts now. You feeling confident, Frank? I've already thought of three mistakes I made. <laughs> the tie. <laughs> right, so that bit's going, gone. Just this bit here, and then we're done. Gone, done. Sort of clock. Okay. You still see it? No. I can't see it now. Thank you, Frank. Very similar techniques. If you look at it in isolation, it looks like a documentary of two men having a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't far off. 17 minutes and four seconds. Whoa. Melting the block. Oh uh, Frank, 27 minutes and 28 seconds. Still under really? half an hour. Really? How was Josh better than Frank? It looked like Frank. He melted was... it quicker. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how this works. Yeah. <laughs> Very similar. <laughs> Imagine this is what it's like on the set of Frozen. First things first, you know Frozen is a cartoon, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's really great bringing the water to the ice. No one else thought to she do never that. Melt, she never broke the ice at all. The ice at, at yeah. no separate. It was beautiful, but it was slow. What was the time then? Uh, it was just over half an hour, 30 minutes and 20 seconds. Ah, uh, shame, because it was um, otherwise uncharacteristically competent. <laughs> <laughs> How many baked beans do you think there are in a can? In a can of baked beans? Yes. There is no way of knowing that sort of thing. There is, if you're the taskmaster. See you after the break. <laughs> Count the beans and the baked beans and the time starts now. Ninety-seven, four hundred and one. There are four hundred and six beans in a baked bean, Tim. Welcome back to Taskmaster. Thanks for that, Josh. Much appreciated. <laughs> Right. Did no one else do that? No. <laughs> Are you kidding? What? <laughs> On with the show. No! What's the matter, mate? Are you joking? <laughs> Roisin's changed its form from ice to water. Yours was still ice and probably was for at least an hour, I would argue. Yeah, but I've changed it sort of... I've changed... I've done something to it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I gave it 13 minutes 40, because yeah, to me it disappeared, but yeah. it's, up, it's up to you. It has it's gone, it's I mean, it has gone. Your definition of something disappearing is Alex can't see it. Oh, do you want to see my hand disappearing? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. gone. That's gone. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's still, still there. Oh, it's still there. Are you a f***ing child? <laughs> Sadly for you, I am a child who's in charge of this f***ing show. <laughs> 
spaghetti hoops are there in a can of spaghetti hoops? <laughs> There's countless hoops in this tin of spaghetti hoops. You done the... Come on! 33, 1, 32, 33, 4, 33. Nothing if not thorough. Welcome back to Taskmaster. Thanks, Josh. Much appreciated. <laughs> How, in the first episode where I'm actually winning, do I feel the saddest I've ever felt? <laughs> Maybe you should be um, thinking that the glass is half full and that you're one of my special little boys. <laughs> Fill an egg cup with as many tears as possible. You have 20 minutes. Ah. Oh, oh, look. There. Yeah. This is genuine pain. It's really painful. It's really impressive. How many tears? Well, it was painful, but not that successful. Seven tears in 20 minutes. There's one tear every three minutes. How right? is that not successful? Well, it's just not very many tears. Like, like numbers-wise, like seven's one of the small... Like, ten and eleven. Yeah, I know I'm counting, no. mate! And that's why I give you my special job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before we go into the break, though... And it may not seem relevant, but it's been on my mind for a while, Alex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who is it? How many grains of rice are there in a bag of rice? <laughs> I don't... Three. Well, that's five grams. How many grains? 250. So 500 is... 25,000 grains. You, you feel like a loser, but then you realise you're not the one that's having to watch this five times. So I don't know who's the bigger loser out of me and you on this one. <laughs> And this time, you've asked them to bring in their most valuable item. I have taken the ultimate gamble, and I have signed a blank cheque. <laughs> it could be whatever the morals of the winner dictate. Well, that's you well and truly f***ing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is also going to be one of those things that you think, funny idea before the show, but it's going to backfire. I mean... No, uh, I, d I don't think Frank Skinner is no, going to... No, Frank doesn't need it, but if I come to the other end... Oh, <laughs> I don't need it, but I like the idea of Josh no longer having it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the maximum you can do? It's 20 grand. 20 grand. No, what? I would, I would do 20 grand. Right. <laughs> you do yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, I'm just... I'm doing the most valuable. I'm putting up a cheque. Well, deal with it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, what did you bring in? Um, I bought, um, eight copies of my book. <laughs> How much is your book retail at? Well... I mean, when it first went on sale, we were all fairly positive. Yeah. <laughs> £8.99, I think. Well, they, do you know? Yeah, they're currently on for £3.50 on Amazon. You can get them for £3.50. <laughs> but these are signed, are they? I can sign them, yeah. <laughs> I signed my cheque! <laughs> get this boulder as far from this place as possible. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Hello. I was wondering if I could um, order a curio, please. I need the one after a transit van, I reckon. Or a transit van. Do you reckon I'll get that in a transit? Camber Sands. Even though I order a curio, they're not going to get here in an hour. Well, not, not if you don't call them. Hello. I called a moment ago about ordering a um, deliver collection. Um, it's one sort of large item. It's a boulder. Um, <laughs> I'll call you back in two minutes and just confirm. Can I...? Get someone to take this for me. I'm thinking about phoning up someone. Are you Mo? Yes. Hello, Mo. Hi. Listen, I need a massive favour. I need to get that boulder as far away from here as possible. So if I put it in the back of your van, yeah. we came from that direction. So I just want you to head in ten... You've got ten minutes to get it as far away in that direction as possible. And it's already progressing that they were moving whilst thinking. But he got just the luck of the draw that he got a courier. I'd phoned a lot of couriers, Alex. You know I tried a lot. Well, you phoned one courier and then you phoned them back and then you... <laughs> Oh, no, but then you back. <laughs> How many couriers did you try? Two or three, I think. Yeah. So on the third one, Mo, Mo came good. Yeah, but Mo, like, I'm going to be honest with you, like, Mo was a nice guy, but he was a, he was a liar. Like, he... <laughs> <laughs> he told me he was going to be five minutes. Five yeah. minutes later, I call him, he uh. says ten minutes. But I said, Mo, you get your story straight and then tell me when you're going to be here, man. And how many minutes was it? Well, he, he wheelbarrowed it for 50 minutes and then put it in a van for ten, and the other way around would have been a lot quicker. Well... Yes, I know that. Is that... <laughs> Did you have to look at the iPad for that fact? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. No, no, no. That's how names work. Robbie, you got a career in 50 minutes. He showed up to pick up a boulder. Do you know what he said to me? When he turned up, he said, You never get some crazy shit and want me to go to Canberra Sands. Make the Swedish person blush as deeply. Make the Swedish person blush as deeply as possible. Have you ever met anyone with three breasts? No. Would you like to see someone with three breasts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about four? Is that too many? <laughs> yeah, that's too much. <laughs> three is okay. Though. Three is okay. <laughs> four. Out of the question. Okay. What about if you put your head in between your legs? Not for dirty reasons, just to <laughs> colour it up. Get yeah. A, get a flush going. So four breasts is too much? Yeah. Mm, three is sufficient? Yeah. Where would you have the third? In the middle or around the back? <laughs> in the middle. All right. Same size or just a mini one? Oh, why not a mini one? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Roshi was the only person who thought to physically make him go red by applying science, in a way. <laughs> and I'm glad you thought of that, because I would argue that without that, <laughs> mentioning a withered back breast might not have... <laughs> may not have done it. I was trying to unnerve him. I don't want to be sexual. I'm not really good at being sexy. So I was just trying to unnerve him, just make him feel like, oh, I don't know what she's going to say. Yeah, like you've got a mini tit on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Blow up the biggest balloon whilst blindfolded. You have 100 seconds and one balloon. I'm absolutely terrified of blowing up balloons. <laughs> you idiot. We, so it's time to... Um, <laughs> can I say, we are tightly locked in the lead, and he's asthmatic and he's frightened of balloons. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Are you more or less frightened of balloons than physical contact with another man? <laughs> Oh, I'd prefer contact with another man to... Hold on, do we have a choice, though? I didn't, you didn't say that before. <laughs> and do we have to tie the end? I have physical... <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, have, start the show with some traditional high-level banter between us. OK, I've been practising. OK. Ready? Yeah. Four. No, four. Is that banter? What's banter? What, saying four to me? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I literally don't know. <laughs> It gets much better than this, guys. It doesn't always. <laughs> Today you've asked them to bring in their most satisfying item. What have you brought in, Josh? I um, spent three months of my life completing the 2014 World Cup sticker album. Oh, my God! <laughs> they're all there, they're all in order, they're all in place, they're all aligned. Not the best photo to show it off, really. <laughs> 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 I have brought in... Um, my vape mod. <laughs> that is uh, the top of the range tank you can see there. It counts how many puffs you've taken. You can change the wattage and ampage of the puffs, and you can also charge your mobile phone from it. Wow, yeah. It's pretty satisfying. Can you really charge your mobile phone from it? Yes, you can. It's got a USB connection at the bottom. So easily pleased. Can you really charge your mobile phone from it? <laughs> The only way that that's going to be a satisfying um, thing to bring in is if I'm addicted to nicotine. Lucky for you, I am. <laughs> Do you know what's so great about it is it stops you smoking and you feel like you're giving Robocop a blowy. It, it's <laughs> great. Then I'm going to put Romesh in because it was supposed to be generally satisfying. There's only a few losers here who are addicted to nicotine. You're one of them, mate. <laughs> that didn't go as well as I hoped. <laughs> I thought go aggressive, you didn't go with me, you know. <laughs> Backfired, I look like a prick now. So. Get the lowest golf score using eggs. And I'm morally opposed to the whole game as a vegan. Yeah? <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't that morally opposed, you did it immediately. I hoped that I could go around without damaging any eggs, and I thought that would sort of sidestep the issue. Are you allowed to just sweep your way through it and go? <laughs> Are there more eggs? I've got three eggs left to do this and that. Feels like otherwise there might not be any eggs left in the world. Which was the problem hole for you? I think it might be the one that I used over two dozen eggs on, maybe. I think that might be. Just off the top of my head, that's the reason. And then the vegan, well, lost his mind, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate chicken so much? I don't hate chicken. <laughs> explain, explain that to your community. <laughs> your community? <laughs> the vegan community. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How do we score this? 
Do we think if most of the egg gets in the hole, that's, a, that's counted? That's exactly what you should ask yourself. I'll yeah. do that now. <laughs> Craig? Yes! <laughs> 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 if we're happy, then Josh uh, took 42 shots in 21 minutes because of the boiling problems. And uh, he used seven eggs, so you scored about 6,000 points, just over. Tim, 39 shots, 10 minutes, three eggs, 1,200 points. So if we're, if we're all happy with the rules, which we're not, <laughs> then it would go Roisin, Frank, Tim. Are you serious? I'm just looking at his face, he's so cross. Well, I didn't sort of say it at the time because I thought I was going to run away with this one, but looking at it again, Roisin just swept them. Uh, sweeping's not what I didn't sweep the whole you time. You swept most of no, the time. I didn't, I, didn't crack, I didn't crack an egg. And I got over the big ones, I got over quite easy. I think you all shit at golf. <laughs> my first go. How are you smashing eggs like it's, that? I mean, it sounds like even professional golf players are shit at golf. OK, I'm the only one who didn't break the egg on the ramp. So if you're looking for golf skills... <laughs> <laughs> She always pings her bra when she's pleased with herself. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of her things. No, I'm but happy with you, I've got the lowest points. Because you didn't break any eggs, pretty much. I mean... But surely I should have 6,000 points No, no, then. the lowest, better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... Let's, no, let's listen to Roshi. Give her, give her the... No, give her... No, she's absolutely right. I, I want to see her ping her bra again. Let, let's give it... <laughs> Stage a realistic blooper oh, for oh, my home movie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Where, have you done this I one, or you have to count hundreds of thousands? Yeah, yeah. Count the hundreds of thousands. It's really fun. It's a great task. Uh, already having the debate that we had the other day about whether it's hundreds or thousands. Oh, whether it's hundreds. Should we go and... Let's, Let's go and see how they're getting on. Count the hundred grand thousands. No, is this? Yeah, but is this a hundred or is it a thousand? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, a lot of banter. Or Look, is this the kind of banter we have? Which one? What about the yellow one? Yeah. This one. That's a hundred. It's a hundred. It is hot. The silver one's not one. It is hot. I don't know which one you mean. This here. Is it a hundred or is it a thousand? It is hot. This here. It's hot. I got it. Oh. I was joking. I won't. I won't break on my phone. Sorry. Alex. Sorry. It's me. I told it. I'm so sorry. I. Oh. I'm so sorry. I. I told him to. The funny stuff unfortunately for you, was mainly done by my assistant. <laughs> Why hasn't Whittacombe got pie all over his face? Because he had to be take part in the narrative. The narrative needed us to be in it, and we needed an Alex. I mean, he's, he's very good PA. It's not a it real sounds blooper. very much like there are three people sitting over there who aren't going to win £200. Well, I'd hate to be those guys. I mean, <laughs> 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 How did you feel about it? Well, I was very pleased with my performance, but when I saw it about the camera work, you kind of miss the fall. You missed the fall into I mean, the pool. It's meant to be a blooper, so I couldn't show my best camera moves because I'd give the game away. So I had to Blair Witch it. You go to Blair Witch Project and go, oh, this ain't very shot very well. Uh, it's I'm meant to look I like that. I couldn't give my best camera moves. I had to Blair Witch it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot shitter than I thought it was going to look. <laughs> that, that, that's... Can we see how the old people did? <laughs> OK. Well, it's put on there, you know, it's quite wobbly. Uh, I'm looking. all right, thank you. I'm... Oh. Ah! Uh, uh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you all right, Brad? Brad? Oh, God. <laughs> I'll, I'll, get, I'll get help. I mean, they were both fantastic efforts, but... Well, you're half right. <laughs> <laughs> Make the best meal for the taskmaster. Uh, using ingredients beginning with every letter of the alphabet. You have a total of two hours. Your time starts now. I'll tell you what, get rid of the bacon. Get some bacon. Xylophone. Romesh, well, uh, the vegan, you replaced meat with bacon, right? Yeah. You still had eggs and ice cream. Yeah, well, no, yeah, what, what I thought was I'd, I'd compromise by including dairy item, but I didn't go the whole... Hog, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, the first thing is I've been totally won round by the inclusion of xylophone now <laughs> because I'd forgotten how important creating the right atmosphere in a lovely restaurant is. And what I want before I eat is to be just incredibly irritated. <laughs> <laughs>